Hello, so I'm back on the South Downs way. It's been about a year since I did part one, which is way longer than I was hoping for, uh, but that's kind of due to all the lockdowns and things in 2020 um, and into 2021 as well. Anyway, it's great to be back. Um, just set off from Amberley. I'm about five kilometers into the second half of this walk, uh, which will be 50 miles from Amberley through to Eastbourne. And yeah, I'd forgotten how beautiful it was. It's really nice to be back out here. Got views of the sea off to my right and then rolling countryside on my left. And uh, yeah, really happy to be here. So far, legs are, legs are doing all right. I'm only five kilometers in, so three miles, quite a bit to go. Um, but yeah, look, looking confident, uh, feeling confident, not really as uh, fit as I was last year, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but planning to do about 17 miles a day. Um, it's, it's a Thursday, oh, sorry, it's a Friday. I'm hoping to get there on uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, let's see how it goes. about seven kilometers in now and I uh, just wanted to show you this view it's really beautiful just uh, across the valleys and across to the hills on the other side um, yeah it's lovely the sea view on the other side is a bit blocked now um, but yeah just enjoying the countryside yeah great to be out in the open air a number of bikers past me so far uh, people cycling the South Downs way uh, everyone's really friendly and uh, yeah, it's a really nice kind of sense of, I don't know, camaraderie being out in, in the wild together. I'm gonna push on through to Washington now, uh, which is only about three kilometers away uh, and see what's open when I get there. I uh, just realized that <laughs> I've forgotten my lunch for the next three days uh, at home in the fridge, a uh, big block of cheese. So I'm gonna to have to find something else to eat. Hopefully I won't get through all my dinner rations uh, before dinner time. Yeah, this is about 56 miles into the 100 mile trip. So nice to be past that halfway point uh, quite considerably. Um, well, not that considerably, but past it. Uh, and this section just involves walking down the main road for a little bit. So I'm not gonna bore you with that too much. Yeah, so here we are arriving at um, Changtungbri Ring Fort, uh, which is an uh, old Iron Age fort. And then it had these trees all planted by a later landowner. Um, so yeah, lots of history around here, which is really nice. I think there's a Roman fort nearby. There's a number of kind of dew ponds, which were dug by farmers. Um, so big kind of depressions in the land to catch the water. And uh, yeah, it's just, just really interesting. You can see the countryside off to the left and the sea to the right. Really nice. A little bit grey today, uh, but it's not raining, so we'll take that. Gonna head up into Chunktonbury Hill Fort find somewhere to sit down and have some lunch. Uh, just check it out really. It's uh, on a nice position. Right kind of views all around. Hopefully there's a little place to sit down. I'm 
I'm about 18 and a half kilometers in today's walk. That's from Amberley. And ahead of me, I can see my destination, which is Truly Hill. Um, and that's just beyond Bolforts. Um, I think that's how you say it. Uh, little hamlet. Uh, it looks like it's kind of downhill from here to the hamlet and then up to the um, YHA at Trudy Hill uh, where I'm going to be camping. Uh, if I turn you around, you can see that's um, Bolforce down there and then Trudy Hill right up the top, basically as high as you can see uh, where the telephone wires are. Uh, it's been yeah, nice, nice little walk up until here from Washington. A um, little bit of a section again beside the road, but this time on some on a path. Uh, past a couple of other people who were also doing the South Downs Way, heading towards Eastbourne. Uh, so yeah, nice to be in some good company. And yeah, good day so far. Twenty-one kilometres from Amberley. Um, yeah, feeling good. Ooh. At the top of Bottles Hill, well, on the other side of Bottles. Um, yeah, pretty tough climbing up from the main road. Um, Looks like we're we'll carrying up for a bit more. Well, really, we're going as high as high as it goes um, up to Trude YHA. Uh, just catching my breath now. And I carry on. This morning I'm heading off to Pycombe and then on to House Dean. Weather looks like it's going to get a bit rubbish around sort of midday, one o'clock. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can before then. Uh, might have to hide out in a pub for a couple of hours or just put on the wet gear. And then um, hopefully making it to South East today, which will then leave me with about 30 kilometers or 20 miles on the last day. Right, so just cracking on. As you can see, it's uh, all right at the moment. A bit cloudy, but um, nice and fresh, easy walking. Sun's just poking through, makes it a bit nicer. Yeah, should be a good day. 
Yeah, I forgot to say that walking from Truly Hill through to Pycombe would be a first stop. Then on to House Dean, which is just a small place with uh, the campsite there. I uh, don't think I'm going to stop there tonight. I'm going to push on through to South Ease, which uh, in total, I think it's going to be about 19 or 20 miles. So a bit of a longer one today. Um, there's another YHA hostel there called uh, YHA South Downs, uh, which I've got a little place booked tonight. Not in the hostel, just a camping spot. Um, so hopefully I'll get through there. Looks like there'll be a little bit of rain in the day. Um, so I might find somewhere to hide out for a couple of hours and then carry on, uh, but we'll see. At the moment, all looking good. There's no big hills, no big ascents on this walk, um, but there are lots of them. It's really undulating, really up and down. Um, some quite steep, uh, so yeah, it gets pretty tiring. I think overall, oh, I don't know, this end must add up to something pretty significant. I'll see if I can look that up and uh, I'll drop something in later. Um, yeah, that's why you see me out of breath every now and then, apart from being unfit. It's, uh, yeah, there's lots of ups and downs. Just made it to the top of one going down and I can see in about 200 meters we're going up again. <sighs> Good fun. Oh, it's a long, steep hill out of Saddlescombe. Saddlescombe Farm. Working those calves. Whew. A steep angle. Oh, come on. Yeah, so in Pycombes now, um, which is a nice little, I guess, village. Hamlet type thing, um, old church there, about 850 years old, really nice. And then just uh, yeah, walking past some nice little cottages as well. There is a pub here, and according to the sign here, there's a water tap for the South Downs Way available at the church. Um, I haven't seen it, but yeah, we say it's here. Uh, morning. Um, yeah, overall, nice little village and yeah, I think I'll just probably keep going on through. So I just found this awesome little place in Pycombe, um, just as you come out the opposite end of it towards, um, towards Eastbourne, uh, where someone's made homemade brownies, Emily's homemade brownies, and they're all really cool. I've just bought a bunch. So this one's hazelnut and apricot. There's a espresso. We've got one with mint and uh, one with dark and white chocolate. Looks awesome. So yeah, big shout out to Emily. Don't miss this as you're coming through. Right, so just heading down to Halstein Farm now. Um, just been yeah, coming down the hill slightly after having gone up really steeply through a set of woods, uh, which I wasn't expecting. Um, and then it's yeah, just about a few hundred meters down here. And then if you have a look, you basically go down across the road and up the other side and kind of zigzag up to those trees straight ahead. 
then we'll follow the ridge line all the way along from there. So a little bit of climb on the other side. Um, I'm not going to stop at House Dean Farm, but you can see over there, that's where the camping is, if you did want to stop. Um, yeah, looks nice in a field, just back from the road, sort of does the job. Right, getting there. After this it will be, I think another six miles through to South East, uh, which is where the YHA South Downs Hostel is. And we'll see where we go from there. a little stop for lunch at the bottom of the hill I've made it to the top of the bridgeway now um, so I basically went down and then up the other side which you do quite a lot on this walk uh, if I turn you around you might be able to see in the distance that's Halstein farm again and the path we came up through the um, forest that I said was very steep getting up to and then back up over the other side Came from somewhere there in the distance. Uh, what we about 24 kilometres today, and it's um, probably about eight more k to southeast. Um, yeah, going well. Now I'm at the top of this ridge. I think we just sort of follow this along, remaining on top of the ridge, like going up and down a little bit uh, until we get to. Um, kind of the end of it and, and then we dip down and go into southeast which is where the YHA is again yeah really nice now we're up here just see the sea off to my right generally the sea is always on the right uh, with Eastbourne somewhere that way After a bit of lunch feel renewed, good to carry on. I think the time's something like 2 p.m. So I have to get in there quite early, quite early stop to the day. Say so another two hours. Um, I think by then I'll have done about 30k, which is about 18 miles. So might be tough to push on to the to the next stop, um, which is Alfriston. Um, that's about another 11 kilometres, so another two to three hour walk. I'm gonna see how I feel when I get to Southeast, uh, but yeah, probably stop there for tonight. Um, yeah, just now a nice walk. So I think I can almost see where I'm heading to now, I can almost see Eastbourne. Um, I don't know if you will be able to see this on, on a screen, I'm just looking into the GoPro at the moment. Um, but yeah, there's some white cliffs over there in the distance, which is where I think the Seven Sisters starts. Uh, so the rain's finally caught up with me. Uh, done pretty well though. Up until, um, what, about 20 past three. It's just been kind of drizzling a little bit and now we've got, yeah, slightly heavier rain. I don't know how much of that you can see, but um, yeah, it's enough to put the jacket back on, which I've just taken off. Uh, and yeah, probably make me want to stop once I get to Southeast. Um, not stop completely this time. Stop uh, just for the night and then tomorrow's looking good. So yeah, just make it a little bit longer tomorrow done almost bang on 30 kilometers um, well actually yeah nearly 31 uh, so yeah really happy with that I think that would leave about 28 tomorrow so if I can give my legs a bit of a rest and um, yeah have an early day then should be good
right, just getting into Southeast. Um, yeah, like everywhere, there's a nice old church here. Uh, this one's saying over a thousand years of history. Looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna carry on down. I think I just go over the river and then uh, the camping spots on the other side. Loads of stuff to say. This is the South Downs way. Lots of signs. Um, yeah, again, really pretty village. Well, even smaller than a village, but very pretty. Morning, campers. Um, yeah, should be the final day. I'm just leaving the YHA hostel here at South Downs. There you go. Didn't get much, uh, well, any footage last night. Uh, but basically just uh, got there, put up my tent, went to the cafe, <coughs> ate a pizza, and then collapsed. Um, yeah, slept for a few hours, my legs were yeah, so today we um, head over to Alfriston, which is about 11 kilometers, uh, six, six and a half miles. And then it is off to um, over the Seven Sisters and into Eastbourne. And I've just found the right way to go. Down here. Yeah, really looking forward to today. Um, it's, it's a bit of an uphill climb across to Alfriston, I think, initially. Uh, so that's going to take maybe two, two and a half, three hours. Uh, and then from there to Eastbourne is about 17 kilometres. So, um, yeah, probably another, what, four, four and a half hours. Um, so we're looking at another long day. Um, but this is meant to be one of the nicest parts of the hike. Um, I have done the Seven Sisters before and yeah, it's really beautiful. So looking forward to it. And it's looking like a nice day as well. Yeah, got lucky. Yeah, so let's do this. walking into the sun it's amazing oh so nice got the sea on my right hills on my left and uh, it's just beautiful I always say this but yeah, it's just lovely it's great to be out here No people at this time. Yeah, it's nice to have it to myself. I know once you get down to the Seven Sisters and going across the cliff tops there, it's going to be pretty busy probably. It's quite a nice day, it's summer holidays. Uh, but right now, yeah, I'm enjoying just kind of being by myself. blocking my way. Oh, these scary beasts. How am I going to get past you? Hello? Hey, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. You? Hey. Yeah, hello. Yeah. 
made it to Alfriston. Um, so far, yeah, it looks like a really nice village. Um, a bit bigger than the other ones we've been through recently. Uh, I guess, yeah, more of an established place. I think it's got a pub and post office and shops and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, really pretty as well. Lots of, Oh, why? Why such a big hill? <sighs> I thought this bit was going to be easy down to the sea. There's a lot more ups and downs than I was expecting. Oh, feels like I've been going a long time. It still says an hour, uh, one and a half miles. Whew. Hopefully once you get to the top of this, then it's downhill. Right, made it down to Cockmere Haven to start the Seven Sisters. Let's go. Here we are, up on the Seven Sisters. Oh, that's so good. Um, yeah, one sister down. Six more to go. Show you. There you go. It's not too busy today. I've been here before and it's been yeah, really rammed. So it's nice to not have it too busy. Uh, it's still a beautiful day. Amazing looking out across the sea, just the vastness of it. It's in France, but I can't, can't quite. So the camera's dead, and I'm on the phone. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. The Seven Sisters finish it off, it's just unreal. And um, quite a poignant time. I'm uh, folding over the corner to be onto the last page of my guide, of the map. I just have to walk from Berlin Gap all the way along to Eastbourne uh, now. I don't really know how much of that you saw. Five, six kilometers left. Amazing. Amazing after the uh, total we're doing. 175 so far. Just five left. Shaft. Really happy. There we go. Looking back over the seven sisters behind me. Whew. Almost there. Just uh, another little uphill. And it's flat and downhill to Eastbourne. Ooh. Almost there. There's Eastbourne. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ah. Almost there. Yes. Thanks for being with me. We're done. 100 miles from just there to Eastbourne. Oh, it's been a pleasure. See you next time. <laughs>